It's a great question, and I totally get why the people have that question. I think it all goes back to the name that was chosen for this entire endeavor, Operation Warp Speed. And I'll be the first to admit, if my 10-year-old told me she cleaned her room at warp speed, I'd go and do a quality check. So, so I get it, and I think it's good to clear that up. Um, and there's kind of three points probably people should know. First of all, this family of viruses had been something people have been studying for a long time. You know, there was a lot of work already being done. So it wasn't like we were starting from square one. Uh, there was a lot of work that had already been done by a lot of the basic scientists, so we want to give kudos to them. The second thing is the culture of research over the last couple decades has really changed from one of sort of selfishness to one of more data sharing and collaboration. So we're very lucky that this came at a time when people were more open with what they were sharing. So those are two kind of minor points. But the biggest point about why there shouldn't be a concern is we've had a, we've, we have a very robust system for designing, funding, developing, and analyzing clinical trials. And bless its heart, it's a wonderful system, but it's full of bureaucracy, full of bureaucracy. I want to be clear that what was accelerated was this bureaucracy was removed. I mean, think about it in your own life. If you could remove all the extra noise around something and focus all of your efforts without any of the noise on doing one thing and one thing only, how much would you get done? It would be amazing. I think we all wish we could do that. That's what we need to be clear about. What was removed was all the paperwork and committee approvals and things that usually take forever. I mean, I've been involved in the process a few times and I'm gonna tell you, it's not something that I would wish on anyone to have to slug through that. We took the entirety of that process and focused it. Everything for COVID moved to the front of the line. Everything went to the front of the line. It's like having a fast pass at Disney. So it's important to understand that what wasn't accelerated was the rigor around patient enrollment, data collection, analysis. None of that was accelerated or sloppy. They just removed all the fat. They cut the fat out of the system.